Where were you all winter? <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, really. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Showing up There's... in July. <laughs> Christmas in July. Yeah, so this was a low that we've been watching. It's that cutoff low. It's up to the north mm -hmm. of us, sort of been hanging there. And uh, the passes that we're talking about, about 10,000 feet. So mm -hmm. a little bit of flurry activities. B a little bit lower than 10,000 feet, the Wrightwood area. Just got this from Karen Kay, oh. uh, one of our viewers and, and Twitter followers. Wrightwood Mountaineer Days, if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's going to be uh, DJing the dance, 6.30 to 9.30 on Saturday night. Good times. Oh, we like that. There you go. Yeah. Mountaineer days. A little two-step. Right. A little two-step. Pat, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look right now. Down we go to Malibu, our boo camp. Plenty of sunshine. Really looks like it's going to be a nice weekend. We do have some warmer weather headed our way, so get ready for temperatures that are going to pop up into the 80s. Now, even with a warm-up, it's not going to be all that hot. 76 degrees right now in Victorville. I've got Long Beach, 73, 77 degrees in Van Nuys, and Orange, City of Orange, 72. Relatively light winds, although we're seeing some breezy conditions around the Southland. 76 degrees for your daytime high. 83 is the average on this day. Take a look at our temperature trends, and we've been running below that line. 83, that's where we should be, and you can see we are well below that, and we'll continue to stay that way in our extended future. In fact, part of the weather headlines here, we've got a warming trend headed our way, but even with the warmer weather, we're going to keep it below average for this time of year. Now, we're going to get a little bit of an earlier burn off. I know some of you coastal communities have been stuck with some clouds for a good portion of the day. Still going to feel June gloomish around Southern California, but inland, we're going to get an early burn off. Hazy afternoon sunshine for everybody, and it looks like it's going to be pleasant all the way through next week. We're not really going to tap into that July fry weather, uh, at least for another week or so. Onshore flow in place, that's that uh, wind that's out of the west. Predominant onshore flow being driven by this area of low pressure. That's what we were just talking about. That's what brought snow to the Sierra. It's pushing inland, and we are seeing some stormy weather through Nevada and then up in towards the Yellowstone area. Air circulating into that low counterclockwise encourages the onshore flow that we are dealing with right now. Now, it's going to be a battle between this low and this trough that's in place and this high pressure that's over Texas. The two kind of go back and forth. When the high expands a little bit, we warm it up. When it shrinks back to the east, we cool off. And really kind of all week long, we're going to sort of see it undulate. It's going to go back up and expand a little bit. We'll warm it up, and then it's going to cool off. But we're only talking about a spread of 2, 4 degrees. Not a lot. 50s and 60s overnight. I've got 58 in Moreno Valley, 65 degrees in the city of Orange. Uh, if you're headed up to Simi, 58 degrees overnight there, 59 in Winnetka. Daytime highs tomorrow, 80s for the San Fernando Valley, 85 in the Santa Clarita Valley. High desert, we've got temperatures into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. 70s right at the coast, 71 in Dana Point, 71 for Newport. We'll head over to the east, the Inland Empire temperatures into the 80s, 85 degrees for our friends out in Paris, 100 degrees out in the Coachella Valley. So here's what it looks like. I've got 79, 82, 81 degrees on Monday, 80 on Tuesday, 81 on Wednesday, 83 on Thursday, and 85 on Friday. For the beaches and the valleys, we've got those same kinds of conditions there, a little warming into next week. We'll look at some more microclimates, and guess what? If you're looking for maybe some outdoor movies to see, I've got that for you coming up in just a little bit. Back Ooh. to you.